Welcome back to Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, we need to go say hi to Ratash again. <laughs> Anyone ever tell you you're kind of an asshole? Oh, I see. Last time I was discussing how uh, Prince of Persia seems to have become one of those games that Ubisoft uses the characters for without actually making proper new content for. You know, they did that event in For Honor, based on Prince of Persia, even though there hadn't been a Prince of Persia game other than that Endless Runner. For, uh, ten years? his medallion. The throne room's in that direction. I have to get to Malik first. I wonder how in the world this guy has blue eyes. Check a These ones I don't mind so much. What? No, no, that's death. Oh, arrow traps. This is where I wish I could crouch. Oh, don't stand there! Jesus. And those are new spike traps. I recognize those now. I was kind of hoping the ones covered in sand would, you know, not function. Damn it! Uh, okay. I can work with that. Ah! No, you know what? Fuck that. I can't get it into a nice uh, flow. I can't just continuously roll. That's what you need to do to get past these things. But I always stumble when I get when he stands up the first time. Before I can hit B again, he just immediately gets caught. Yeah, there's the trick, so I don't end up- Ah! Let's just move up here. Get caught standing on the, uh, thing when I'm done rolling. Really enjoy those zombie sound effects, though. I'll say that. Dang it! The sound effects lagged on that one, which is weird. Almost there already. Nice. Gee, how is my health? I could use a tiny bit of health. Not that tiny. Oh. I do, however, hear... The whisper of a sarcophagus. Can I get up these walls? No. You know, I never really thought about it, but I guess I gotta have a lot of rooms like these. There's gotta be a room like this behind every trap corridor, really. That's pretty much the only way you could make machines work back in the day. Lots of big moving parts.
Okay, so it's up there. How do I get up there? Can I not, like... Dang it! If it works down, it should work up! <laughs> I'm guessing this is the secret one. Look at all those particles. Hmm. Another shout out to, uh, Sudden Hip, please. Who, uh, informed me that that statue I'd previously found of the guy carrying a lion under his arm is a real-world statue of, uh, Ashurbanipal. Uh, generally remembered as the last great king of Assyria. I wonder why that would be here. Hmm. Let's, uh, get start my timer again. Uh... I don't, I don't know if that's exactly the same one, but it looks very similar to me. That's why I was reminded. The beard. Let's see here. I'll increase three. Ah. Yeah, I didn't think so. I do like Whirlwind more than the other powers. That's because knocking everyone on their ass is much more immediately useful than the others, except maybe the armor. Uh, what's that over there on the side, anyway? Battle Rage, yes, that's right. Metal Fury. Oh. Fair enough. Increase the range and damage. Length, duration, and damage cause it a flame trail to level 2. Let's go with Whirlwind. Wait. Okay, so I don't think it adds... Oh, now it takes up two energy slots when you use it. No, I don't need to kill this pod. Well, that happened. That's not where I was intending to jump. Fine, I'll just run across. I was gonna say, it looks like uh, I would need to... use the slowdown power that a lot of the other games had. Oh. This must be the astrolabe. Malik wrote to me about it. It's supposed to predict the future through the movement of the stars. I don't know that one. I've heard the term, I don't know anything about it. Somehow, I doubt it predicted the army. This room really, really reminds me of the orrery room from uh, Sands of Time. Which, let's face it, was probably deliberate. I'm up here now. everything. Oh, perfect. Now Malik can kill me for treason and breaking his astrolabe. 
See, that sounded like an echo, but its mouth isn't moving. What are you do- Okay, this is happening. Yeah, that's what we call a bug. It didn't even you know, bring up the button prompt. I was just on an invisible cable. This isn't the only character that Ubisoft has chosen to use without giving their own game. Oh, I see. Uh, they've put Sam Fisher into a few things now without giving him a new uh, Splinter Cell game. to uh, Rainbow Six Siege. And, uh... That weird mobile game... That was... Where the storyline was basically a right-wing conspiracy theory? Yeah, bad luck, Ubisoft. Just saying. That was like, uh... Elite Force or something? It's the sort of title that's so generic you forget it instantly. Well, I've made my way back here. So I think this is the same one. No, it might be the other way. I don't know. Well, whatever the thing, it this is happening now. I don't, you know, follow the Splinter Cell series very closely, but I'm pretty sure they haven't actually done a Splinter Cell game in a few years. Actually, you know, there is one other thing in this franchise that I hadn't mentioned, now that I think about it. Uh, just recently, I, I think earlier, well, still technically this month, because I'm filming this on September 30th, but, uh, I think it was earlier this month. Whatever. They announced that they're doing a full HD remaster of uh, Sands of Time. Hmm. Well, I can get onto it from there, so there's that. I guess I could try that. Can I make that jump, or do I have to swing? No, I think I can make this. Yeah, I'm up here now. That has not accomplished anything, though. Uh... No, I don't think any of that water will help me from here. Okay, what if I just keep pushing? Uh, fuck, which way was I facing? No, no, no. Color me confused. I have no idea what I meant to do here. What's that over there? Okay, yeah, that was the one I pulled the first time. I 
think. Oh, fuck, man. Okay, that's gotta be the one, because that's the only one I can actually... It only appears to be a flat platform. Oh, look, it's got the, uh, the, the fire symbol in it. Nice. Okay, so I'll assume that's where that's meant to be. Yeah, definitely can't make that. Yeah, they, uh... They put out some, you know, images. I think there's a trailer out? Yeah, Prince of Persia Sands of Time with 2020 graphics, as I understand it. Oh, damn it. So that's neat. I don't know that I'll be checking it out, but I'm glad it's happening. Ah, okay. Now it's coming together. Although if it does sell well, they might actually, uh... You know, try for a new one. Or at the very least, remakes of Warrior Within and, uh... Two Thrones. I doubt this thing was intended as a mode of transportation. <laughs> Fuck it, what happens if I keep going? Oh, no, you just can't. That's as far as it goes. Okay, just checking. I wonder... So the sand... The, the, the sand canisters in this game being blue is, uh... Itching at my brain. And I get it, it can't be the sands of time, because it's not the sands of time! It's the forgotten sands. This other you know, sand-based apocalyptic crisis. Although, in fairness, this is a desert region, so I'd imagine quite a lot of magic actually involves, uh, being put into the form of sand. Oh, yes. Homer a hero? The answer is no. Well, that, that could be, you know, better. If it didn't have this giant goddamn arm in the way. Wait. Alright, what if I point this in the opposite direction? Will this arm be out of the way? Yeah. Water must drive the machinery. God. This is the one with all the flippy things that jump out and try to kill me. Where am I going? Huh? 
Uh, uh. That's just where I came from. Ah, uh, right, well, okay, that didn't happen. Spots can live. That's the throne room. Malik must be nearby. You weren't in the throne room when you saw him just earlier. I'm trying to work this through in my head. Maybe Razia's magic just activated the power of the uh, medallion. I figure it doesn't work right now because, well, the prince doesn't have any sands of time, and because uh, he doesn't know how to use it. But maybe Razia felt the potential power inside of it, said, hey, that could be useful, and uh, activated it. I don't know, it just seems very odd that they made a big deal about how, you know, the Dagger of Time is the... Oh, I could use one. It's a source of infinite power because it has the ability to manipulate time, but then you find, oh, the djinn can just do that. They can just give you the power to do that. Oh, no, don't go over there. Okay, just check it. Uh, no, no, that is definitely not going to work. That is a window sill. All the way to the bottom. Not bad. I don't need to get all of them. That'll be silly. Missed. Okay, that is not what I was meant to do. Let's take a look around. Can I run to it? Oh, that's what the banner is for! This is a fixed camera angle, so they put the banner there so I know when I'm lined up with it. Damn it. Okay, that happened. Ah, uh, okay. Ah. Uh. Bring it. Oh, right, he can turn if I don't do it for the very last second, I think. What? No! Oh, hey, I'm almost dead. That's not good. 
Shit, shit, shit. Okay, not quite as dead. I don't like these guys. Okay, maybe that wasn't the right time to do that. By the way, uh, I don't know if Jeffrey had a special name or not, but uh, apparently the enemy type, based on Jeffrey, are called Chargers. So I forgot to start my timer at some point, and this video ended up running really, really long. Oops. So I'm gonna call it here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. Later!